Hey everyone, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the Daystar uh, cowl hood today on the Jeep. So I'll give you a little side shot of it here. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, well first thing I'm going to do is get this stuff out of the way. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, center the uh, template. And one thing I already did was I went ahead and the windshield bumper holes, I already cut those out. Uh, make sure you take a razor blade or a utility knife or something and, you know, uh, follow the line and cut these out. Because uh, this is the most important part. This is what's going to help us center the, uh, the template on the hood. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and install the, the hood bumpers on the template. And you just line up the hole and pop the bumper back in. Alright, now I'm going to get a measuring tape and measure from the, don't measure from the edge of the paper, measure from the actual black line. So again, don't measure from the edge, measure from this black line. Right here. And I'm just going to use the black, or the, I'm sorry, the green painter's tape to help hold this down. And I have one of these fabric rulers, or if you're married, your wife will surely have one of these. So I'm doing this for right now, and then we're going to measure. So again, we're going to measure from the black line the template to the edge of the hood. You want to be careful where you measure from on the template because actually I think now that I'm taking a better look at this I think it's actually really close. Yeah, we're good. So this template actually is pretty much right on. Uh, but again, you definitely want to uh, measure this to be sure. Alright, again, so we're just measuring. to start center punching this stuff. All right, I found my center punch. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Those are the foot and the loop holes. I probably should have put the foot in the then, but I got it lined up without it. Um, so when you're doing this, if you put the footman loop in, the holes here, it'll help you line everything up. Um, in this case, I really didn't need it. Alright, we got them. 
All right. We're going to start with a 1 16th inch uh, drill bit. It's a small bit, but this is just to drill the pilot holes. Then we're going to step up to the, um, I think it's 3 8 got to double check the instructions, but it looks like 3 8 these back ones when you're drilling them be careful I think the reason that broke is because it hit the frame underneath and you know kind of caught the drill bit and snapped it uh, so be real careful on these on these holes when you drill them for the back because I think that's what's happening. I think it's hitting the uh, frame of the hole underneath. All right, so real quick. The instructions say to use a 1 16th inch uh, drill bit, you know, to drill the pilot holes. And then you want to bore them out to 5 16 Okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to open these up to a quarter inch first, and then I'm going to open, up, open them up to 5 16 um, Just a 1 16 inch pilot hole is really small, so I'm going to do a gradual step up. Um, if you have a step bit, that'll, that'll work perfect. Um, I broke mine, so I'm going to have to do it with a regular drill bit. But I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Open these up. Okay, so now we're going to do the center section. So the outer holes, you want to open these up. The four inner holes inside the uh, cutout, you don't don't mess with those because uh, we we have to open those up with pole saw anyway. So, uh, but you know, again, we're just gonna do the outer. What is it? Three, six, eight holes. And again, let the drill do the work. The sheet metal on this is thin, so it doesn't do I want to show everybody something. Um, I know the instructions say to open these holes up to 5 16 but I think that's a little bit big for what it is. Uh, these holes are, the, the bolts are smaller than quarter inch. So what I'm going to do is we're going to try and install this just with the quarter inch. Um, so again, these are smaller than, than quarter inch. So I'm going to try and ins uh, install it with just the quarter inch holes as is and see how it fits and you know if I need to adjust it any I can always open them you know back up to 5 16 uh, but again I'm just opening them up to quarter inch that's plenty big all right so now it's basically time to cut out the center section and I'm just cutting the paper along the line Alright, so I'm just going to trace around and I'm just, all I did was trace around the opening and at this point we can pull the template. 
Alright, so we're going to go ahead and cut out the center section. And when you do that, put something under here. Just to help, uh, you know, catch all the shavings. Just use that part. You might get whatever you have. Pretty much anything. I have cardboard. Probably should have done that to begin with, but... Okay, so for this next step, I'm using a cutoff wheel instead of a hole saw uh, to get this started in tin snips. Um, if you're used to working with a cutoff wheel, you can just use that. Um, if not, get yourself a hole saw and use tin snips. Um, you don't want to mess this part up. But uh, again, you know, I'm used to, uh, you know, using uh, cutoff wheels so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, use this you know to cut the center section out and I'm just gonna put some tape just to kind of help protect the paint So I think we got through. Yep. No going back now. All right, we're going to go ahead and give this a test fit. Okay, so I did have to clearance a little bit out of the middle, you know, that center hole that we cut out, but uh, at this point, uh, everything fits pretty good. Uh, so uh, at this point, it's time to touch up all the uh, bare metal spots with some uh, touch-up paint. All right, so at this point, I have everything uh, touched up. It really doesn't matter what color paint you use. Just use whatever you have. I used white. You're not going to see it anyway. The hood, the cowl hood's going to uh, cover uh, cover it up. So any color is fine. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to test fit it one more time, and then I'm going to put adhesive down, and I'll show you guys what I'm going to use. But I'm going to put adhesive down, and at that point, we'll start bolting it in. Okay, so I have it wiped down. I test fitted it one last time. It fits fine. So the sealant that I'm going to use is just Permatex adhesive sealant and it's just uh, you know the black silicone type so I'm gonna put a bead around the edge and then we're gonna put the hoods the cowl scoop on and then we'll start bolting it in at this point I have the sealant on it so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, get the cowl hood on here put it in place and start bolting it in alright at this point I have the Cowl hood bolted in. Um, I won't lie to you, that was a major pain. Um, I don't know if you, you'll be able to see it, but here I kind of had to open it up and I'm going to have to clean that up. I had to do the same thing on the other side to get my uh, 1130 seconds. Make sure you have one of these, it's going to be your best friend. It's 11.30 seconds. And it makes it uh, easier to, to get this bolted down. Um, the front ones weren't that bad. It's these back uh, five. Uh, those are a major pain in the ass. But at this point I got it. I got a little bit of cleanup to do because I had to open up the hole a little bit more to get this in here. Um, 
So at this point, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hook up the washer nozzles. And I'll go from there. On these washer, washer nozzles, if you pull off the rubber elbow, it'll expose the uh, little nipple. And you just push it in like so. Put these back in the little uh, holders. Alright. That should be pretty good, I think. I'll probably zip tie it up a little bit, clean it up. But... Or actually, I might shorten it a little bit, but uh, I'll clean that up later. So you can, I don't know if uh, you'll be able to see in the video or not, but the uh, sealer is starting to ooze out the edges a little bit. That's what you want. You want it to seal. And at this point, I can start pulling off the, uh, the tape. All right, there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these in with the adhesive. So I'm just going to tape it off. I'm going to use the uh, you know silicone adhesive that I used on the hood scoop itself and glue these down as well. All right, so I went ahead and I used the adhesive and I have these uh, in place, the inserts, and at this point I just have to let them dry. That's what the back of it looks like. I need to get that tape off of there, but that's easy enough to clean up. a shot of the back edge. Pretty cool. I like it. Um, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, once that adhesive is dry for the inserts, I'll pull the tape off and that's it.